What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another beehive adventure video. Back at our hive to check in on our ladies, see how everybody's doing. We're at about the five, five and a half week mark uh, with this brand new colony. Uh, again, these are Italian honeybees. I'm looking at the entrance, I see bees flying in and out. So. That's always a good sign. They haven't all packed up and left. Hoping today to see some expansion of the colony. Not gonna know by just sitting here and looking at the outside. So let's go ahead and take the top off and take a look at the inside. First thing I wanna show you guys what we've done is it's been a couple weeks since we've really like taken everything apart and looked inside, but I have changed the entrance of the hive. We've expanded it to a much larger size. That's what it used to be right there and now this is what we've uh, turned it into or switched it to I should say the reason you wait to do this is uh, when the colony is just getting started um, you don't want this massive entrance just in case uh, other bees come and attack or rodents or insects like we had uh, an ant problem a couple weeks ago we seem to have taken care of that um, you want to keep that entrance small because your colony's small and they can kind of defend everything and keep an eye on everything a little bit easier but as the colony grows, matures, then you can expand that entrance and uh, just allow everybody a little bit more space, a little more breathability in the hive as well, especially as it gets hotter out too. It's a little bit breezy today for my liking, but here kind of back in the woods, doesn't seem to uh, be too bad, but of course we always start with smoking the entrance of the hive. Gonna have to get a little bit closer, kind of force that smoke up in there. There we are. We'll set that off to the side, keep that close. Let's first check on our food situation in the top. Wow, look at this, y'all. They have absolutely cleaned up that sugar syrup. Now, one thing I have found with the sugar syrup, I have more of it right here. I am using about uh, six cups of water, and that seems to fill both sides. So we'll put that in at the very end, but we have more, and our ladies are absolutely eating it up. Good job, girls. Glad to see nobody's going hungry, that's for sure. Again, they just climb up right through that little slat there, down into where the, all the frames are. Come right up into here, enjoy themselves a little sugar syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the top here. And we'll set this off to the side. Oh, look at that. All right, so as you can kind of see um, by the activity on the top, we have definitely, let's see, one, two, three, four, Minimum four frames filled out, so we got half of it. My guess is we probably got one, two, three, four. My guess half of this one's filled out as well, so probably at about four and a half. Um, once we get to five, we'll add our second brood box on the top with eight more frames. Um, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. I already see some stuff we got to scrape off here. We got some burr comb or wacky comb, they call it. We want to clean all that up, so I think the first things first, uh, let's get our hive cleaned up. So they've definitely been busy. You can see some of the comb right in here. They've attached some of the frames together with the comb. I see it like right there, right there, right there. A little bit up there as well. We'll have to get in there and clean that up so that, that way everything's not stuck together. We'll add our little frame holder right onto the side here. There we go. One thing I am gonna do, and I mentioned this in my last video, we're gonna go ahead and mark each one of these frames. So as we're working with them, uh, if anything comes up, uh, uh, if I have to take multiple frames out at once, I know the order in which they go back, and I know how everything is positioned, um, kind of like Tetris. Everything fits together well. Um, I'm afraid in one of my earlier videos, I didn't fit some of the frames together quite right, so some of the comb smashed up against some of the other comb because, you know, that's not how it was built. So we can go ahead and take a Sharpie, and we're just gonna mark all these up in a way that we know and uh, then that way we don't have that confusion anymore. There we go. Now we can go ahead and kind of start our inspection. Looking for good, uh, 
good tight packed combs and as always we're gonna be looking for our queen make sure she's still in business here check that out looks like everybody's doing real well on this one now we have a little something interesting right up here in the corner let's go ahead and smoke those off that might be a little uh queen trying to be made there so let's go ahead and smoke the girls off that is this just honey i want to make sure they're not trying to make something for a queen okay it looks like that's just honey in fact let's get a closer look at that yeah look at that that's just a big old thing of honey right there so all of this wow they're starting to make a lot of honey see all that in there you can see it's shiny they're they're starting to store honey in here and uh yeah i mean that looks awesome pretty sure all this right in here is capped honey i mean i'm looking at honey for sure right there so i think they're starting to store up their own food which is great really good go ahead and check the other side on the other side things are looking pretty good over here as well don't see our queen but i do see some bees walking around with a lot of pollen on them so that's good all right time for the next frame let's take a look at that once again look at this look at all that honey in there wow there is a lot of honey that yellow stuff you're seeing right there pretty sure that's pollen got the pollen in there but all that up there looking like a lot more honey that one right there looks like he's taking a drink <laughs> he's like i'm getting me some of this i don't know maybe he's drinking or making it i don't know but it's looking awesome looking real good this frame isn't very filled out not on this side anyway but i believe on the other side let's check that out i think that's quite filled out check this side out right here look at that Whew. that is filled out right there good heavens check out all that honey y'all i'm pretty sure that's what that is that is just all filled out looking really good look at the shape of that comb that's kind of cool just different i could definitely see uh there are some bees on the underside like right in there so this is kind of like two-sided oh there you go you get a better look right in there you got like both sides of this going on here that's pretty cool that's pretty neat to see that whole thing shaping up like that so i haven't been able to lay my eyes on the queen yet but I've seen plenty of evidence that she's been around, like these nice packly tight combs with larvae in them. Those are fairly mature larvae as well, and I guarantee you, right above them, that's a capped brood right there. In fact, this whole frame right here, I'm pretty positive, are all larvae and capped brood all in there. Got our larvae still down here, and some of these have already hatched, obviously. This is so exciting. Our hive is growing. Y'all check this out. Here's more evidence that Queen M has been hard at work. Look at all those little eggs right in those combs. Isn't that amazing? Look at how tightly packed they are. She's been hard at work. Good job, Queen Emma. The hive's starting to get a lot bigger and uh, I'm not necessarily worried that I can't see her right now. Like I said, there are kind of uh, front and back sides to some of these combs but when i see that right there when i see a lot of eggs and i'm starting to see larvae uh, in fact you can see both stages look at that you got the eggs on the right baby larva on the left and of course the much larger larva this is on our fifth frame fifth frame's about a fourth of the way filled out so we're really starting to head in the right direction all right we have disturbed these girls long enough we're gonna go ahead and get them hooked back up with some food and get out of their way. This is what my ladies have been waiting for right here. They're like, to heck with everything else. Give us our sugar syrup. Here you go. <laughs> well earned, ladies. Well earned. Check that out guys, we're feeding our bees. We've literally got them licking the sugar syrup off my finger. Let's get a little more, here you go. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Guys, it's so awesome. See our colony growing. Everybody's doing well. We're getting frames filled out. Everybody seems happy. We see eggs, we see larva. We are completely prepared to add the second hive body to the top of this with another eight frames. We're just gonna wait for that fifth frame to get filled out a little bit more uh, before we do some expansion. Thank y'all for following along with me on my first year of beekeeping. If you have any questions or observations, drop them in the comments below. And as always, we will see you in the next one.